dear students in this video uh, let's see about the latch right types of latch the most fundamental type of storage element is a sr latch so sr latch has the two inputs s or this s is called as set and r is called as reset sr latch having the two inputs and two outputs the two outputs which are complementary to each other this sr latch can be constructed from either two nand gates or two not gates in this video we are going to see the sr latch constructed by the two nor gates right so which is called as nor sr latch before going to see the operation of nor sr latch first we should know the truth table of this nor gate right so the nor gate truth table is the inputs are 0 0 output will be 1 and 0 1 combination is 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 right this is the two table of nor gate so the operation of sr latch we can consider the three cases let's take the case 1 right if the input s is equal to 0 and r equal to 1 right input s is equal to 0 and r equal to 1 in this input combination we can see what is the output of q and q bar which means what is the next state of q and q bar right so we know according to this not truth table if any one of the input is 1 the output will be 0 any one of the input is high the output is 0 our first case the s input is 0 and r input is 1 right s is equal to 0 r equal to 1 in this case if any one input 1 means the nor gate output is 0 right because the one of the input is 1 so the output is 0 so q equal to 0 the q value is fed back to the one of the input of this second nor gate right so now this input is 0 and this input is 0 then what is the output of this 0 0 combination the 0 0 combination is 1 so q bar equal to 1 so it satisfy the latch condition right both outputs are always complementary q and q bar always complementary right if i am going to change the input r from 1 to 0 which means s is equal to 0 and r equal to 0 right in this case let's consider the previous output is 0 we can take it as a previous output is 0 for q equal to 0 right s is equal to 0 and r equal to 0 previous output q equal to 0 which is given to the here so 0 0 case the output is 1 right which means the q bar value is 1 and q bar 1 which is set to the input of this first gate so 0 1 combination the output is 0 so q value is 0 right the meaning of this case is if both inputs are 0 the next state will be the previous state in previous state q equal to 0 and q bar is 1 while we changing the input both are 0 0 the next state become the previous state which mean is a memory state right let's take the case 2 if s is equal to 1 then r equal to 0 what about the q and q bar right i am applying s is equal to 1 and r is 0 we know in our truth table any one input 1 the output is 0 so in this case the output is 1 so the output is 0 of this particular case so in this case q bar value is Zero. This zero is given to the input of first gate. So zero zero combination, the output is one, right? So Q value is one. Q value is one. 
right now i am changing the input from s is equal to 1 to 0 and r equal to 0 and take it as the q value 1 as a previous output for this state right in this condition we have to find what is the q value and q bar value right so s is equal to 0 q also sorry r also 0 in this previous output is q1 so the q1 is fed back to this input of this gate so now this become 1 so 1 0 nor to table 1 0 0 1 or 1 0 combination provides the output is 0 so q bar value is 0 so the q bar value is 0 this 0 is fed back to the input of the fast gate right so already r input is 0 then feedback input is again 0 so 0 0 produces the output is 1 so q value is 1 right so here also the same both inputs are 0 the next state will be the previous state so previously q1 next state also 1 previous state 1 0 in this state q bar is 0 so next state 0 0 also q bar is 0 so from this two case we can say that the both inputs are 0 0 both inputs are 0 0 then the next state will be the same as that of previous state so previously what is the uh, state that will be maintained as the next state for the condition of input 0 0 right let's consider the third case so in third case both inputs are 1 s is equal to 1 r equal to 1 right so in this combination we have to check whether q is what and q bar is what if s is equal to 1 r equal to 1 we know in r2 table any one of the input is 1 the output is 0 here in this gate input also 1 so q bar value is 0 in this gate one of the input is a 1 so q value also 0 so here third case q also 0 and q bar also 0 this is not in the case of latch right because in the latch q and q bar always complementary but here q and q bar is same so which is not used in latch condition when the input is 1 1 if i am changing the input is 0 1 to 0 and r also 1 to 0 right so if the input is 0 and r input is 0 the previous output q is 0 that 0 is given to the input of this gate right so 0 0 q bar is 1 so in this condition q bar is 1 then q 1 is given to the input of this gate here 0 1 so 0 1 combination also 0 q equal to 0 so in previous two cases both inputs are 0 0 the next state will be the previous state right but in this condition when both inputs are 0 0 the next state is not as the previous state the previous state output is 0 0 but the next state output is changed 0 here 1 which is not same as that so when we apply the input both are equal to 1 then the next state will be the invalid state because which is not in the concept of complementary to each other so based on these three cases uh, we can uh, clearly explain the operation of the SR NAR latch right so the inputs are SR and the output are uh, next state next state is QN plus 1 this is present state right let's consider this is present state so SR uh, in these two inputs we can get the four combinations 0 0 0 1 1 0 and 1 1 right so in 0 0 combinations all in this case and in this case what we have get the next state the next state as a previous state right so previous state let's consider qn so whatever qn we are getting the previous state that will be maintained at the next state for the combination of 0 0 when the inputs are 0 1 combination so 0 s is equal to 0 or equal to 1 combination the next state become a 0 right so the next state is 0 whereas 1 0 combination so 1 0 combination 
the next state is 1 1 0 combination the next state is 1 so 1 0 combination the next state is 1 whereas 1 1 combination the next state become a invalid so it may be 0 or 1 the 1 1 combination the next state is invalid it may be 0 or 1 it can be represented as a don't care x symbol so now this is the truth table of s or nor latch right the present states are s or and next state is qn plus 1 the present state 0 0 then the next state become a previous state which is nothing but qn and 0 1 combination it's called as a reset state this is called as no change or memory whereas 1 0 combination the next state become a set state and 1 1 combination then the next state become a invalid or forbidden state so this is the operation of sr nor latch